Hey there! Hi, it's John with John Shutters and a Ramco. Today I'm bringing you a very, very simple video. How to set mechanical limits and shutters. Don't tell anybody, it'll be our little secret. Shh. First, as you can see from the video, we have to find the limits. In this situation, they're properly faced right here for us. And you'll notice there are multiple arrows in multiple directions, uh, giving you lots of information. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set our down limit by inserting our down limit tool into the arrow that points into the direction that we want to control first. In this particular situation, you see two big triangles. One triangle pointing up, one triangle pointing down. But guess what? That doesn't mean this one controls the up and this one controls the down. This is referring to the directional rotations. So when the shutter tube is going up, the rotation will be in a downward direction. So if we want to increase or decrease the down, we'll put it into this one. Likewise, we'll do the same for the up. Okay. So we'll start with the down. We always start with the down and then we work to the up. Got it? So now I'm gonna go ahead and close the plate up. Now that we've seen it, you know, this is the down, this is your up. <clears throat> if you notice the rotational plus means increase. Opposite of plus would be decrease. Duh. All right, James, go up. Go back down. So now James has hit the down limit, but we want to increase that. So I'm gonna stay on the down, James. I have my assistant stay on the down with the switch. And you can see here in the video, I'm gonna slowly increase the down until I get the desired position. And that looks to be the desired position. Properly tension on the spring locks forcing back. There's our desired position. You can double check the desired position by asking James to go up and then back down. And when it goes back down, you wanna see it stop in that exact location. Now we're gonna go ahead and fine tune the up. So we're gonna have James go ahead and go all the way up. You'll notice I'm actually decreasing the up so that we get some opportunity to fine tune the adjustment. There it is. We've got our fine tuning adjustment. Now we're going to slowly increase going towards the plus direction until we get the unit. It could be a shutter, it could be a shade, it could be an awning. We're just adjusting it, adjusting the turn dial until we get our desired location. And it's important James stays on the switch. That's why it usually takes two man crews to do the job. I hope you are getting some good video of this. The sunlight's getting pretty bright out here. And as we're getting closer, you can do little incremental adjustments that don't make the motor move. James, go back down and up. And then you can have your assistant go back down and up and make those slight adjustments till you get it just where you want it. Go back down and up. And that's where we want it. The base slot successfully in the track. The shutter out of the window. And now we double check our limit settings. All the way down, all the way up. And what we're looking for here is the shutter to go back down to that position that we wanted it to go to. Uh, down at the full bottom. And we're gonna want it to stop on its own. And we're gonna want the motor to shut down and everything to work properly. So as we're watching it, you can see it rolling, closing, collapsing, and stopping. Just what we wanted it to do. Perfect. Now it's gonna go back up, and then there you have it. You have now successfully changed the limits on your mechanical shutter. This, this mechanical adjustment technique works for any motor that is a standard motor. Okay, that would be with the mechanical adjustments. There are smart motors that have internal adjustments with limits. That's not this video. These are the simple 
mechanical adjustment limits on a standard motor. Uh, brought to you by John Shutters and Aramco. Join us again for another video. We appreciate you coming along. And uh, here, take a quick view.